want to show you something really cool we talked about here on the show. They're breaking ground on it today. The long-awaited historic Filipino town Eastern Gateway is going in today. Sky Fox has a bird's eye view of the crane at work to install this. Stu, this is such a great thing to be able to see. It is, Michaela, and it's happening out here. This is going to be Beverly Boulevard, and they're going to actually set it up right there by Belmont. That's actually Belmont High School right there as well. This is going to actually be the Eastern Gateway. This is going to indicate you actually entering into the historic Filipino town area of Los Angeles. Now, you can see the crane is there, and that's the actual archway itself. They're going to put that into place. They're going to do the major work today, and good news for any, any commuters out there, people that drive on Beverly, they're saying they're going to have this wrapped up by 6 p.m. So they're going to do that pretty quickly. Now, is it going to be done? The answer is no. They're still going to still be finishing touches. They're going to be working on it for some time. But again, this is going to be an iconic uh, landmark out here in the Los Angeles area. It's brand new. First time we get to see it for sure. And again, it's going to indicate that you're entering into the historic Filipino town, part of downtown Los Angeles. Again, though, that archway is going to be placed above Beverly Boulevard, right here at the cross of Belmont. I'm Stu up in Sky Fox. Michaela? And it, it's important important when you think about the representation. There's like a half million Filipinos uh, in the Los Angeles area. Several work right in our in our own Gadele team. Uh, we're hearing cheers from Maria. I want to point out that this has been 20 years in the making. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into getting this to happen. It will be officially called Talanga Bay. How's my Filipino, Maria? Was that okay? Pretty good. Pretty good. Our Thank guiding you. star, it'll span 82 feet across and 30 feet high over Beverly Boulevard. Uh, it's been a, a, a collaboration, to say the least. Several artists contributed. They've uh, put uh, beautiful adornments on the, on, this, on the archway as well. Artists worked together to put things like, you know, hibiscus and, and, and different symbols that, that uh, uh, play a part in Filipino culture. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing this when it's fully installed. Their hope is to have it fully installed and ready to go so people can celebrate under it in time for AAPI Month, uh, Asian American Pacific Islander Month, which is in, of course, May.